Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Okay guys, welcome back. I will add the project file link in my description below. You can check it from there. So firstly, let's go to our shape tool and for that you can press Q or you can just come to here and hold it and let's select the ellipse tool. And let's hold shift and let's make a circle like this. Okay, nice. And then go to here and hold control and double click to pan behind to move the anchor point to the center. And go to selection tool. Okay, nice. Let's select the shape layer and go to align and let's move it to the center. Nice. Now select the shape layer and press P, make position keyframe. And let's go to first second and let's move it to the down. And let's go to 10 keyframe with holding shift and page down. Let's move it to the up to here. And go to 10 keyframe again. Let's move it to somewhere to down. And go to 10 keyframe again. Let's move to here. Let's select this keyframe. And let's move it to the right for now. And let's go to 10 keyframe again. Let's move it to here. And go to 10 keyframe again. Let's move it to here. Now let's do it one more time. Let's move it to it down. Okay. And then go 10 keyframe and let's move this keyframe to here. Now select these keyframes and let's make them easy. So you can press F9 for that. Let's see. Select keyframes again and right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation and change the continuous bezier to linear. And click OK. Let's see it now. Nice. Select the shape layer and let's enable the motion blur so it will be more better. So you can see it from there. Now let's go to 10 keyframe again. Now let's make a static keyframe. Now let's go somewhere to here. Now let's move it to the left. And go to 5 seconds. And let's move it to the right. Now select this last 3 keyframes. Go to Craft Editor. Let's zoom the graph. Now let's change it like this. Let's preview it. Okay, let's select the keyframes again and go to Craft Editor. Let's select this one and let's move it to the right. And this one as well, let's move it to the left. Also this one, let's make it like this. Let's see now. Okay, it's kinda fast, so let's go to Graph Editor again. Let's make it like this. Let's see now. Okay, nice. Now let's close the position. Now let's open the shape layer settings. Now let's close the transform. Go to contents and ellipse one and from here let's open the fill one and go to somewhere to here let's make opacity keyframe and go to here let's make it zero select these keyframes make them easy but as you can see there is no stroke so it's kind of invisible so to fix that let's select the shape layer and let's enable the stroke let's write the stroke 10 or maybe 8 8 is gonna be better and now let's open the stroke settings. Let's see the timing. Go to here. And let's make an opacity for stroke. And let's make it 0. And let's go to here. Let's make it 100. Select keyframes, make them easy. Let's see it. Okay, nice. Maybe we can move this keyframe to the left a little bit. Let's see now. Now we can close these keyframes. Now let's select the shape layer and press U to see the old keyframes. Also let's select the stroke opacity keyframes and let's move them to the left a little bit. Let's see again. Okay, this one is good. And now let's write our text. So for that, let's go to Type Tool, or you can press Ctrl T for that. And let's just click to here. And let's write Oreo. And go to Selection Tool. And let's move it to here. And make sure it matches to here. 
Nice. Now select this text again and press Ctrl T. Let's delete the last letter. Nice. Now go to the window and open the Animation Composer 3. Also, if you don't have Animation Composer 3, you can check the description below. I will add the link how to get it. And from Animation Composer window, open the Starter Presets and go to Transitions Text Layer and open the Animate Characters. Now let's select the first one. Now let's select our text layer and press to in. Let's close this window now. And let's select this text. Let's move it somewhere to here. Let's see. Okay, let's see the timing. And we'll move to here. Let's see now. A little bit to the right. Let's see. Okay, I think this one is better. Now let's right mouse to here and go to new and let's make a new object. Now let's hold Ctrl double click to here, click down to the center, let's go to here. Now let's move it to somewhere to there. And select this text layer and shape layer and let's link it to new object. Now let's go to here, let's select this new object, press P, make position keyframe. Let's go to here, now let's move it to the center. Let's do it from align. Okay. Now select keyframes, make them easy, and go to Graffetor, let's change it like this, let's see. Okay, the timing is kinda bad, so let's move it to the right a little bit more, let's see now. A little bit to the left, let's see. Okay, let's move it to somewhere to here, maybe. Let's see. I'll put it to the right. Okay, this one is better. Also, let's make a background for this logo animation. For that, let's right mouse here, go to new, and let's make a solid, and let's rename it to background, and click OK. And let's close this shape layer settings, and move it to the down. Now go to FX presets, let's search for gradient ram and let's double click to here. Now let's change the colors. I'm gonna use the light blue. Like this and the second color a little bit to dark blue. Also change the ramp shape and let's make it radial ramp. Now let's move it to somewhere to here. And select this one. Let's make it like this. Now let's see it again. Nice. Also let's add some particles to the logo. So for that let's go to window and animation composer 3. Let's open the starter percoms, open the shape element and let's go to the down. Now let's select the particle 5 works. Let's click to add and let's close this window. Let's go somewhere to here. Let's see and change the size. Let's make it 30. Now let's zoom out of it. Let's move it to here. And let's duplicate it with Ctrl D. And let's move the second one to here. Let's select the second particle. And let's move it to the right out of it. And select these both particles and let's move them to the top. Let's see. Okay, maybe we can move them to the right out of it. Also, we can change the scale of them. Let's see again. Nice. Now let's double click to this particle. Now let's change the color to white. Let's select all of them and change them to white. Let's see again. Nice. Also, let's select these both particles, let's press T and change the opacities to... Let's make it 70. Okay, 70 is gonna be better. Let's see. Nice. And also, let's, let's give a shadow to it. So for that, let's select the shape layer and this text layer. Let's go to FX presets and let's search for drop shadow. Now let's double click to here. Okay, from this window, let's change distance like this. Now let's change the softness, let's make it like this. 
Okay. Okay, it's kind of dark, so let's fix it again. We can change the softness somewhere to 50. Okay, I think this one is better. Let's close this null, so it will be invisible. Let's see now. Also, let's select this shape layer and let's press U because I think there's some problem with the keyframes. Okay, let's select these keyframes. Now let's move them to the left a little bit. And go to this keyframe. Let's go to 10 keyframe. Let's see. Let's select this keyframe and let's move it to the here. Okay, and go to this keyframe. Let's move it to the left a little bit. And go to here. Let's move it to the down. And go to here. Let's move this keyframe to here. Let's see it again. Okay, as you see, there's some problems with the keyframes. So to fix that, let's select these keyframes, go to Graffetto. Let's zoom out a little bit. And let's move this one to the right. Also select this one, and let's make it like this. And select this one as well. Let's make it like that, so it will be more smooth. Let's preview it. Okay, nice. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.